Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another idea commented by one of you guys so many many thanks for the idea for the person who commented it, you know who you are yeah and today we're going to be doing how much mass would Uranus need to survive a supernova so we've got, we've done some episodes similar to this before like on how um, the objects would need to survive a nova so we've done how far away from the sun Uranus would need to be to survive a supernova and then we've also done the inner planets where how far away they would have to be to survive a supernova from the sun but today we're going to just have a play around with the mass of Uranus and let's see if we can get it to survive in its current location. So we'll pull it up slowly, but I'm assuming that 17 masses like Neptune it would survive. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what the minimal amount is for it surviving. But yeah, just before we get started, guys, many, many thanks to um, for 16,000 subscribers, of course, because we hit that um, recently. And also, we're already, we're pretty much already about... I think we're about 10, 20% all of the way already to 1,700 subscribers. So that is just absolutely insane. Just cannot thank you guys enough. It's, it's just awesome. Like I just can't believe it. It's just absolutely amazing. But anyway, let's get with this. Um, I'll get into this now. So, as you know um, from um, the many, many times where the sun has exploded in my videos, poor old Uranus never ever survives, as we can see right here. Any second now, or maybe not. Okay, you can do that as well. Yeah, look, there you go. So it's starting to lose mass. And it should just completely disappear. Yeah, there you go. So it's just completely gone. And then the inner planets as well. So it's usually just Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, and then some really far away dwarf planets out here like Eris. Or um, Sedna is one of the usual survivors. And it's obviously Planet, planet 9 as well. That, that's always the survivor. But yeah, there we go. So there's that. So if we go into the simulation again... Let's, in, let's buff um, Uranus's mass up a bit. So right now it's 14.5 masses of Earth. Let's also lock the radius since we don't want that change him. So let's put it to 15 masses of Earth. Now let's try this. So yeah, let's go up 0.5 every single time. So now let's try this again. So supernova, there we go. Oh, we've got a nice red one this time. So let's see what happens here. You gonna survive Uranus or not? Let's see, oh, it's losing mass, but is it gonna go all the way? Let's see here. Okay, and, and, it, and it's gone. Completely, it's just got annihilated again. So there's that. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> so, yeah, put poor old Uranus. Okay, let's see if we can try at 15.5. So that's a whole extra Earth of mass now compared to what it originally had. So let's go ahead and try this again. So explode the sun, please. There we go. So let's see what is up next. Is it going to work? Or is it going to survive? Or is it going to is it going to die or survive? Let's see. Oh, okay, it's losing mass, but is it going to go all the way down? So I think Neptune loses mass. No, the Neptune doesn't. But yeah, Uranus is sadly vaporized again. Oh, no. No, I don't want to go and trap this one. So let's go back to the solar system. So let's try um, 15. Oh, no, was it? No, 16 masses of Earth now. So let's go do that. So 16, like so. So this is one mass less than Neptune now. So let's see if that one mass makes a bit of a difference and actually while we're while we're doing this video we can also put neptune to the mass of uranus and see it would survive as well so that could be interesting so there's uranus okay you're going to survive this time 16 masses of earth okay it's losing its mass again i'm assuming it's just going to completely just go isn't it or is it uh, and it's gone <laughs> poor old uranus is, is dead again all right so there's that okay let's um let's try neptune now go on neptune Come on, load game, please. Okay, we're on the loading screen. There we go. Okay, so let's try this at a mass of 16.5 like that. And then let's go to Neptune. Let's put you at, what was it? Was it 13.5 originally? Was it Uranus, wasn't it? Let me just quickly check. Uranus is, oh no, 14.5, 14 sorry. So let's put it to 14.5 like so. Okay, there we go. Wait, was my Uranus correct? Wait. Did I have it at 14.5 originally? No, let me check that. Uh, Uranus, Uranus, Uranus. Or am I going mad? Usually I'm going mad when I find these things. So Uranus is... Okay, it's 14.5. Okay, I just mucked up. Okay, so yeah, 16.5 on Uranus. And then Neptune is at 14.5. So the mass of Uranus. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so let's go to tools. And let's go to explode. And then go to the sun. And now let's watch the magic. So 16.5. So it's only got a little less mass than Neptune normally does. But let's see if it survives this time. And then Neptune as well. Keep an eye on you. So Uranus, okay, it's, it's losing mass. Ooh, it looks like it's coping a bit more. Neptune is losing mass as well. Okay, so we've got a different sort of solution here. And Uranus is just vaporizing to nothing. What about Neptune? Oh, Neptune's gone as well. 
Okay, interesting. So, Neptune with the mass of Uranus couldn't survive. That's interesting. Okay. So, let's go again to back to solar system here. So, let's put Uranus at the mass of um, 17 Earths now. And then Neptune will put you at 16. Why not? So, let's see if Neptune can do it with just one Earth left. See if that distance can help out as well. Because Neptune is a little further away. But, yeah, there's that. So, Sun will blow you up. Okay, let's see what we've got next. So Uranus pretty much has the mass of Neptune now, so it should, in theory, survive, but it is a little closer, so maybe we have to put it to 18 or 19. Yeah, let's see what happens. So let's speed up time, like so. So it's losing mass, and then Neptune is, um, yeah, Neptune's losing mass as well, but Uranus is gone again. And Neptune, uh, and Neptune, poor old Neptune's gone as well, okay. Hmm. So Neptune literally can't survive underneath 17 masses either, so... So it looks like 17 is the actual absolute limit, but we'll put it at normal 17. So let's just try regular 17. Get rid of that 0.1, see if that makes any difference. And then Uranus will put you up to 17.5 on the 17.5 Earths. Let's see if that um, can help me survive. Right, now let's try again. So let's explode, sun, boom. All right, we've got a blue or blue colored one this time. Okay, Uranus. Look how quick the inner planets go. They just, they don't have a chance. Okay, Neptune. Okay, so let's see if Uranus can survive this. It's got more mass than Neptune, so it would make sense it survives, but apparently not, and it's gone. And Neptune's gone as well. So, if you remove 0.1 Earth's mass off Neptune, it dies, or it gets destroyed. Look, if we, um, so there's it at 17.1, and Neptune always survives like this, but in the, as, as seen in the last supernova, Neptune didn't make it. So, let's just go quickly check up on Neptune since it is sort of a um, sort of two-parter with like Neptune and you so you, Neptune here if we just go ahead and look at you so Neptune usually survives that so Uranus vaporizes as you can see here and Neptune usually survives like like so like that but it does lose its um, hydrogen layer it's just a rocky planet now yeah let's um let's go into that again so we're gonna put Uranus at a mass of 18 Earths now see if it can handle that so let's go to 18 on the, uh, um, yeah 18 Earths on Uranus and then Neptune just to make it a fair test, we'll go again. So it's just regular 17 Earth. So that point 0.1 is gone. Now let's um, Nova the Sun again. So much Novas today. All right, so Uranus. Let's see here. Okay, it's losing a bit of mass. Neptune as well. Yeah, even Neptune's using mass. Really interesting why it's doing that. But is Uranus going to survive? Come on, Uranus. Ah, oh, Uranus is dead again. And Neptune as well. See, that 0.1% Earth makes a huge difference at Neptune. That is very interesting. Anyone anyone got ideas? Or is it just the game mucking around? Because it could be a game problem, but never know, right? Okay, let's just try it at 20 Earths um, for Uranus. So, yeah, we're finished with Neptune now. So, let's try it with um, 20 Earths. So, it's like supernova over the sun. Let's go to Uranus. Okay, let's see what happens here. Go on, Uranus. Surely you can survive. Okay, it's losing mass again. And and it just it just dies. What the heck? And yeah, Neptune survived with 17 mass 17.1, sorry, masses. What is up with this game? Is it just is it the game doing this or is it would that actually get destroyed with that amount of mass? It's, because it is closer to the sun than Neptune, but I don't know if that 0.1 mass would actually make a big difference in this scenario. Okay, let's try it at 25 Earths. Now hit play. Okay, is it going to work now? Come on, Uranus. you got to survive, buddy. Come on. Okay, it's losing mass. you going to survive? Come on. And it's gone again. Is it going to go? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, we'll try it at 30 masses now. <laughs> this is so peculiar. Okay, so let's um, try it over here. So let's go 30 masses of Earth. See if that makes any difference now. Hit play. Let's see what happens. So let's go. Because Uranus is bigger than um, Neptune number, so it shouldn't very really survive, and I didn't even blow it up. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's go Nova the Sun again. Okay, there we go. Uranus. You can survive. Oh, hang on, there you go. 1.44 Earths. Okay, so maybe it isn't the game mucking around. Maybe it literally does need to have that amount of mass to survive. So it's got 1.44 mass left. So 25, which is what we originally had, minus 1.44, that puts it to about 23.5. So let's put it at 24, and let's see how much mass we'll have left, if it even survives at 24. So let's go to 24 masses of Earth. Then we're going to blow the sun up again for like the millionth time. So there's that. Right, red supernova, don't let us down. You can survive Uranus, come on, please. <laughs> okay, it's losing mass. Okay, it looks like it's coping. It's going down. 
Or is it going to survive? And it's gone. Okay, so 20... That, it didn't sell at 24. What about 24.5? Try and work out the exact point where Uranus can start. So 24.5, like that. Okay, now let's try. So Nova, let's go again. Oh, no, Nova, please. There we go. All right, so we've got the classic old Nova now. That's the most common one. Or the, or the one from the oldest game, or the old versions of the game. That's the Nova you used to get. Okay, Uranus. Okay, what's going on with you, buddy? You surviving? Come on. 24.5. You going to make it? Okay, it's so losing mass again, as usual. Go on, Uranus. Ah, ah, it's gone again. Okay, so that is... That's very, very interesting why it's doing that. So... If we just um, test it again at 25 masses of Earth, see if it's just to check it does actually survive, just to double check. So, Sun. Okay, we've got a red Nova again. Okay, Uranus. Don't let us down. Okay, so here we go. So, it's losing mass. But is it going to see this? It's going down a lot slower than it did before. Oh, oh, hang on. And it's gone. What? I swear it survived at 25 earlier. Or was it. F no, we did 25, right? Well, wow, maybe it was a fluke. Interesting. Okay, so it's Nova that. Again. Okay, now let's just try it at 30, 30 masses of Earth. See if that makes a difference. Okay, so okay, there we go. We've got a red Nova again. You can survive at 30 Uranus. Come on, please. Okay, it's losing mass again. Come on, and it's just not having it now. We got it to survive once, but it's just not having it. Okay, this is this is really peculiar actually. What if we put Uranus? Let's get another Uranus. So let's go down here, let's get another Uranus. So Uranus, let's pull it at the sort of similar distance to Neptune. Let's also give it the same mass as Neptune. And then it should survive, right? It would make sense. So and then this one here, let's pull it to 40 masses of Earth. See if that makes a difference. Look, this is almost the amount of mass that's... Actually, no, it isn't. But forget that. <laughs> what am I even saying? All right, so let's um, try again. So yeah, this Uranus here has exactly the same mass as Neptune. It's slightly larger in size. And its density is similar as well, so maybe it's something to do with density? I don't know, because I'm not very smart on density if you know me, so... Okay, let's um, let's see here, so this Uranus here is losing mass, okay, what about this one? 17, okay, it's losing a bit, but is it going to make it? This one as well? Okay, that, I'm hoping they survive, come on, please. Oh, and that one's gone. Oh, and they're both gone. Okay, this is very confusing now, because it would make sense if Uranus survived at the distance of Neptune with the same mass. Let's just, in case it's maybe my custom simulation which is playing up, let's go to the regular old solar system simulation, the classic old solar system, and we'll do it with the regular Uranus. So, let's try it at 40 masses of Earth again, and then over here at Neptune we'll add another Uranus in with the same mass, just to make sure it isn't my simulation which is um, messing around. So. Let's go put you at 17.1, because Neptune died at 17 masses, but it survived at 17.1, so it makes sense if the Uranus here survived. But I don't even know at this point, this is very, very strange. So let's explode, sun, there we go, play. Okay, let's see what happens here, so... Okay, is that one... Okay, that one's... Oh, that one looks like it made it, actually. This one here, 2.09. Maybe it is my simulation that's a little strange then, but it would still... Hmm. But yeah, Neptune got a similar outcome as Uranus. Huh. Okay, so maybe it was my simulation. Okay, that's good to know. That means we won't... That simulation is a little inaccurate for testing then. So that's good to know for the future. So let's... Um, now let's put it... Now let's put the regular Uranus, or the one over here, to 17.1 masses of Earth. Let's see if it survives with Neptune's mass at a closer distance. So let's see here. Is it going to survive? Okay, so same result as my simulation. It just died out, okay. So, let's try and work out the exact point of where it can survive. So, it survived at 40, but let's put it back to 30 to just compare it to my simulation. So, it's 30 masses of Earth. Okay, let's try now. Oh, that setting's on, though. That needs to be turned off. Let's just open that again. Yeah, that we do not want it getting larger in size because that gives it an advantage. So, that needs to be switched off. Then we put it to 30 masses of Earth. Oh, hang Oh, wow. It's Yeah, because it's a regular Uranus, it's not cooperating the way I want it to. So, let's go back here. Let's lock, let's turn it off, lock the radius, then put it to, what was it, 30 masses. Now let's see if it survives. Maybe it's all due to the radius as well. Okay, so let's see here. Is it going to make it? And no, it doesn't. So 
maybe it is maybe the only di or the reason why my simulation was given slightly different results is because the radius and composition button on my custom Uranus was switched off. But let's just prove try and prove that theory. So if I go back to the custom simulation now, it's very strange how this is working though. Like you'd think at Neptune resistance it would survive or mine, but okay, let's um let's go to um solar system, solar system. Okay, solar system. So let's go to my custom one. So here we go. Now this Uranus, if we switch that setting on and then we put it to 30 masses. Let's see if it survives now, since the radius should it... Wait, is the radius being changed? Okay, now the radius doesn't even want to change. Let's try that. Wait, the density settings is all correct, right? Um, how, how dense is the regular Uranus? 1.27. This is 1.27. 30. This is 25362. This is 25362. So yeah, this Uranus is an literally exactly the same as this one. So... That is very peculiar. Okay, so let's try it now. Radius and composition is switched on this time. So let's see here. Okay, so it's, um... Yeah, now let's see what happens. So it did get bigger in radius. It's just because we had the simulation pause. It wasn't working. So let's see if it survives now. And it does. Okay. Interesting. So apparently you need this setting switched on if you want your Uranus to survive. But the problem with this is it, it doesn't, it makes the radius bigger as well. We just want the mass to be bigger to see how much mass it would need. But apparently the only way this is going to work is we need the radius bigger as well. So now let's try and work out the exact amount. So let's go back here. Let's hit, make sure we hit play. Let's turn that on. Now let's put it to 17.1. So that is exactly the same as Neptune's um, mass. So now let's go to the sun. Let's blow you up. Now let's see if it survives. Since it is slightly larger in size now. So is it going to survive or is it not going to make it? Yeah, it's not going to make it. Yeah, it's gone. It's dead. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to solar system here. So yeah, having that radius setting on is required for this. So let's have that on. Now let's put it to... Let's try 20 masses of Earth. Let's see if that does anything. And then this setting is really weird. Is it going to Is it going to change anything? Are you going to work now? Wow, it really doesn't want to cooperate, does it? So let's go there and then there. Okay, so it just completely eliminates it. Okay, yeah, this simulation is not working now, is it? So let's go back to all. Oh, let's just go to regular solar system still. So here we go. Right. So we just have to do it with the regular Uranus. Apparently my custom one doesn't work, even though it's exactly the same composition and stuff. So very, very weird stuff. So oh, let's try this at 20. See, look, this, this time it makes the radius bigger, so... Yeah, it looks like it, the custom Uranus sadly doesn't work for this. So let's see if it survives now. And no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's gone. So we have to keep working out how much mass it requires. Yeah, this is probably the biggest episode we've ever made with the most supernovas. Or the most supernovas in one episode, sorry. So 25. Okay, let's try now. So yeah, it makes the radius bigger. I'm guessing that radius helps. Okay, let's see now. You gonna work? Come on, Uranus. Ow, come on. Is it gonna survive? Or is it dead? It's taking a little longer, so 25 seems to work. Or oh, is it going to make it? Oh, it did! Wait, is it? Come on, Uranus. You're almost there. Come on, stop. Slow down. It's still dying, but it's just surviving. Just a little longer. It can go into the meters. At, oh, wow, that was close. So t let's try it at 26 masses of Earth. So it's around tw So from that, it's around 25 masses of Earth. So let's just try 26 earth masses now let's blow the sun up again okay let's try this so it's got that little earth extra maybe that extra earth will help so oh and it did there you go look at that so it made it so 26 masses of earth so let's try this again let's do 25.5 just to see if we can work out the exact point so 25 uh, no not two point no. you're honest 20.5 I'm, I'm so dumb 25.5 there we go, that's what we want. So now let's try. So explode. Okay, let's see what happens. Come on, you're actually gonna make it. I'm guessing it's gonna be very, very small. Oh and it did! There you go. Look, it's stop it, it's not getting any smaller. So it made it. So let's try 25.25 now. So let's see if that extra little bit helps. So 25.25, like so. There we go. So 25.2 it put it at. So explode. Okay, let's see what happens now. Is it going to make it? Come on, Uranus. And there you go, it does. So, now we'll try 22.1. Or not, not 22. 25.1. <laughs> I'm, I'm goofing up so bad. So, 25.1. 
So it's just got that little 0.1 extra earth of mass. So there we go. So remember, at 25, it didn't, or it didn't make it. So, okay, so 20 point, or 25.1, or, yes, it survived, or it died at 25, but 25.1, it does survive. So what if we try 25.05? Pretty much, like, we can't really get any lower than that. So 25.05, like that. So, so let's put it at 25. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Right. You're going to make it, or you're going to die. And it did. It's got more... Oh, it has a very low amount. Look at the mass on that. So I'm guessing that extra 0 0.05, like, it helps. That's interesting. So if we just put it at a regular 25 again, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke like before. So let's just go to 20, 25 Earths. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So explode. Let's go sun. Let's explode the sun. There we go. Now let's check. So is it going to go? Is it just going to completely vaporize? See, look, it just dies at 25. Yeah, it's gone. And that, the same results as before. It just gets very, very small, and then it just it doesn't make it in the end. Look, sadly, it's gone. So that is very interesting. So that literally, that tiny, tiny bit of extra mass makes a massive difference. So let's just go. So just checking again. So 25.05. So that extra 0, 0.0 or extra 0 0.05 mass of Earth makes a big difference apparently so let's ex tools explode the sun as our final test now let's see if it survives so it's got that extra 0 0.5 and it does it's got so it did it so there you go guys that is the exact mass you need to make uranus survive in your solar system so if you want to make uranus survive here this is what you do you go to 25.05 so that exact value there is how uranus can survive supernovas and it makes it a little larger in size as well if we um look here maybe the reason my one wasn't working is because when i was trying to put the or when i had a um, radius and composition switched on it wasn't making the planet any larger in size but on the regular uranus the boring basic one it does make it bigger inside oh, oh whoops oh no they're fine they didn't hit okay so yeah if, if i try if i turn that on on this one and then do 25.05 it doesn't increase the radius. I'm guessing that radius, the extra radius on this one does help. See, look, they both got 25, but the radius on this one is bigger. So that extra radius makes the difference there. So that's the reason why the custom one sadly wasn't working. So sadly, we can't use my custom solar system for any tests in future because it's inaccurate, apparently, because these custom objects, but this setting doesn't work, which is pretty weird. But yeah, there's that. So... There you go, guys. That is how you make Uranus survive supernovas. So then it needs 25.05 masses of Earth. So yeah, keep that in mind if you ever want to do it. 25.05 masses of Earth to f survive a supernova from its regular position around the sun. So yeah, this distance here. So let's um, just quickly check. So that distance is about... Is it even... Wait, auto orbit. Come on. So that distance is about blah, blah, blah. so about 20 AU away from the sun. That is how much mass you would need. So yeah, there we go, guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and hopefully you enjoyed me trying to um, make Uranus survive and nuke in the solar system every minute. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed that um, great, glorious destruction, I guess. And yeah, uh, make sure if you did hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 1,700 subscribers now. Wow, we are getting close on 2,000. Yeah, many, many thanks to everyone who has subscribed. And again, it's just much, much appreciated. And yeah, so any ideas you got for another video? Maybe we could do this with Earth. How many masses will Earth need to survive a supernova? Because remember, this is a lot closer. So we're going to have to really give this a go. Yeah, should we do it on Earth? Let me know. But yeah, there we go. So make sure you guys all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.